nam mô phật bổn sư thích ca mâu ni nam mô đức bồ tát đại bi quán thế âm nam mô sakya mâu ni buddha đi respectic paramahatang sung phong respectic lama do tin and dearly dharma listeners i'm very happy to be here to sit together with us in this moment We do not know each other, but we come together in the very calm atmosphere and we care nothing outside there. We put away everything and we connect it with who we truly are. We don't need anything to be who we are right now. That is the most beautiful way to manifest as a human being. Sometimes we rush in the future to look for a lot of things. We have everything, but one thing we do not have is ourselves. So sometimes, just sometimes, to stop for a while, not rusting, but stop for a while and let's see, being ourselves without any condition, look how it will be. For example, right now. We just be the breath in. I would like to invite you. You take a deep breath and stop for a while. Smile with yourself because you know that you are not a citizen in Wuhan, China. You're still alive, and you're alive very fine, confident, and you recognize that being alive is a miracle. One day, everything, including your life, will be lost. Nothing left. And we do not know what is the time when that day will come. So if this day, at this very moment, we know that it has never happened before and never happen again. What should we do with this very moment? Two hands appreciate it for our life and for the life around us. Sometimes I just sit and I enjoy myself. I enjoy my breath. I enjoy that my beingness, then I know that I am alive. The aliveness gives me some joy without any conviction. You know, like Buddha, live as the prince Siddhartha in the palace, has everything but feel very lonely. So he quit the palace, stay very in the very fearful place in the deep jungle, but feel better. We have everything, but we have nothing that's ourselves, that very easy way to live as human beings. We angle because of what? Because of we lack of joyful and happy feeling to live our life. For example, if I sit here with a good mood, a happy manner, and I feel wonderful within me, if someone steps on my feet, I will not react it easily. I will just smile. But if something already happened in my mind, <laughs> all these small action outside there will create my big anger. And that person will be the second victim of my anger, isn't it? So to deal with ourselves about the anger, firstly we know that no one in this world wants to be get angry. Everyone wants to live very calm, happy, and joyful person. But why is anger comes without any invitation? 
as a human being, so we do not intentionally invite any anger come to our light and we threw it again to our beloved ones at all. But why we cannot deal with our anger the way we want? Firstly, we don't want anger comes. Secondly, we don't want anger destroy us, our relationship, our beloved one and our own life. But we again and again promise with ourselves that we will not get anger. But finally we fell. According to you, please share. I am not sit here to talk a thing that you don't understand what I experienced. But I want you, you too, to get there. We look at this mechanism, body. It's the most sophisticated mechanism in the world. We buy a phone. We need to read the use it menu if we want to use it proper way, right? But this mechanism, we do not pay attention to it at all, and we want to use it the way we want. Impossible. So the Buddha, two thousand six hundred years ago, offer us a kind of menu reading, use it. That's called meditation. And within this room only, without turning the light, impossible for us to see our faces and the facilities here. So only turn off the light, everything will be available and valuable. Only when we turn on our light within this mechanism, the human body will be useful. Otherwise, this mechanism will turn against us. And then, when this mechanism turns against us, we need no any enemy in this world anymore. We will be the most dangerous enemy. Without anyone, we can sit and suffer. For the 10 years ago, the thing already happened. And for 10 years in the future, not yet happened. We human beings capable of doing those crazy things. The things that the dog do not understand why the people sick and suffer. The tree do not understand why the people sick and worry. But we have the capacity of thinking in the past and worrying the future. Thinking in the future is not to make us suffer, but to make us perfect. The spiritual evolution should go up. If we have the things that other creatures doesn't have, then this should be for us to be more happy and more updated. It should not get us more getting down. Then the laws of universe will take away our capacity and we will be born in the lower range. The range that we have no capacity of being thinking in the future, in the past anymore. So the capacity of as human beings are thinking. It's wonderful. But if we are not able to use our thinking capacity the way we want, it will turn to be at a very sharp knife, cut our body and mind. When you cut the body, it's called physical suffering, physical pain. When it cut our mind, one word, they speak only five seconds, but we keep our five seconds into five years, it cut our soul, our heart, Continuously, while we eat, while we sleep, we still suffer, even in our dream. Then, we should consider again the way we use this mechanism. So, I want to share with you how to transform the energy of anger when it emerges within us. We don't want anger, but anyway, anger comes without any invitation. How to cope with this? How to deal with this? I'm talking about now vipassana, mindfulness of anger. Now I would like to ask you one question. Okay, you just observe your experience and answer me. For example, I sit here and I use this hand to. Big this hand. I harm this hand in many ways and make you suffer. What do you think who I am? Hmm? 
I am a no more or a no more. I am crazy or a no more person. If I try to hit to make it painful, I am crazy one, isn't it? It's necessary for me to tell you that you should not get angry. No need. It should not necessary for this hand for me to tell this hand that you should not hit this hand because it knows automatically it is one body if this one hit this one who will suffer <laughs> both suffer here we can see two things but even the mind within the body is only one thing then when the mind get angry that is the poison we drink and we want while we drink the poison then we want others the one harms us to die because of our drinking poison that is called crazy person isn't it we get angry it means we drink poison and we drink poison then we once other die because of our drinking poison. That is a very crazy kind of reacting of human being, you know. Others do not want to kill us, but already we already kill us gradually by our anger, day by day. The anger here is not a strong anger, but sometimes like we sit here, how do we feel? Now, if you feel that, very painful <laughs> on your knees so please relax don't sit properly look like meditators no need just love your body compassionate with your posture and whole body structure it needs your care your love your compassion it needs to know your ego to make to take advance on it just relax the way that it needs it's the like it's like the way it needs you to sleep now if feel okay then you sit the way it feel okay if not then just relax listen to the talk and listen to your body and just be there at the present moment you receive nothing you are now and here for you to live not for you to be something because of the talk You be a lot of things, but you still suffer. You no need to come here to be something more. Be someone. You just replace this kind of suffering to another kind of suffering. So be nothing is the best way to end all kinds of suffering. Even being a monk like me, <laughs> even be a good, a bad, a woman a husband, a wife, or any kind of role we play now that through all the roles we play just be relaxing in this very moment so firstly remember when we get angry at that moment we beat ourselves our mind beat our body at that moment we remember uh, we are the crazy person like the, the way I demonstrate to you so later if you get angry remember we are not a normal person, okay? <laughs> That's it. The first thing to remember. The second thing. Do you think that if we up the line, the second question, uh, I would like you to cooperate with me, then you see how you experience. If we up the line in this room, do you think that we walk in this room, we can avoid those things? Can we? If the room completely dark, can we avoid those things when we walk? Can or not? Cannot. Yes, for sure. Do you think that when the house, the light on, uh, the owner of that house stay within the room, the light on, the thief, the robber will dare to come? Do you think? No. It don't dare to come, for sure. Then do you think when the anger will come without invitation? 
you invite the anger comes to destroy you at the voice and drinking or not no never that i would like to ask when if you not invite it then when it comes when you are in your room of your true home the body and mind in the now and the here or when you are not home when you are mindful or you are unmindful the anger will come when when the owner not in the house the thief will come to take away the thing that the thief want when the light is not on in the room then the thief will come in the same way without invitation the thief will come only when we are not in the here and now when we are not mindful that is the art of mindfulness therefore 45 years of the Buddha talking a lot of thousands and thousands of suttas and lectures by the Buddha given to different people by different kinds of capacity but the main teaching the Buddha gave to the monks and the high people who have the capacity of practice of, of his sincere way of meditation that is in the sutta called Mahasatipatthana Sutta or Satipatthana Sutta in Majjhima Nikaya in the Sutta the Buddha all the time say only one word repeat again and again based on the four things that human beings we have if you want to practice meditation in a Buddhist way just read carefully these suttas and here you see uh, the Buddha said you have four rooms the body the emotional or the feeling the mind and the object of your mind or the qualities of your mind for example this thing is a uh, fourth thing is the four rooms and these four rooms they have a lot of things in these rooms um, if you are not turn on the lights in the rooms then the problem will happen one of them is anger will arise like meditation here means now you do not off the light anymore on the light all the time 24 hours apart from the eight hours of sleepy you cannot be aware but at least from the moment you down to your back from the back and at the moment you sleep go to bed again observe how many percent you are aware for those rooms how many percent it on the light of mindfulness that is the qualities of meditation but not sitting how many hours like this no that is one of way only ah. so we firstly recognize that the anger is the outcome of something so here there are two things produce anger firstly the wrong perception plus go together with the unmindfulness of light of your room will give rise to anger wrong perception plus unmindfulness equal anger the second way unsatisfied feeling go with unmindfulness that means your room of emotion of the light will create anger there are two ways for anger to emerge one is from the mind without mindfulness another is from the emotion without mindfulness from those two rooms if there is no mindfulness the anger will come so the anger is the outcome of something non-anger element one of them eight wrong perception so first with, with a person who get wrong perception on you for example your beloved one you stay with your beloved one your children your daughters when you get angry for sure that one of the reason is your wrong perception about someone we cannot get angry with someone that we understand them no if we understand them right away we love them and we care for them you know for example 
when I sit here, อาจารย์ sit here and talk, and I speak in the very uh, low voice to my disciple there. I ask two of them come to sit here. I ask two of them three times. They still sit there. So my mind react in a small way. Why? I am your attorney. I ask you to come here to sit with others. But why you still sit there without hearing anything from me? My mind analyze something with an uh, unusual mood. You know, I am a monk. <laughs> I practicing in that way, and I observe the story tell me, and I this identify with the story. Ah, because they are for sure some reason they don't want to sit here because something in their mind, so they don't want to act the way I want. So if I left them, I have to let them do the way they want. If I left them, I ask them the way I want. I very s h e l f i s h master. You know the things happen every moment. If we observe it and we know who we are and we know who what they are needing, then we do not demand other to fulfill our desire. That is a very cruel way to live a relationship. So when you live with your beloved one, some relationship, when they get angry, so you already know, h huh? the anger comes from something. When the anger talk without the mindfulness practice, when the anger raise its voice to talk, it means the angry person talk, and you will be the listeners of that angry talk. What should you do? Now I'm talking about the case, the case study, the K practice, the K application. When you listen to the person who angry talking with you, what should you do? Angry without mindfulness talking, and you are the listening without mindfulness practice. Then you want to not listen anymore. You want to correct them. The angry person talk without mindfulness will be the condemnation. Will be the blaming, will be the insulting others, and you are the who listen to those words without mindfulness. You will create the argue, the quarrel, ah, for sure. The family members cannot cope with, deal with those things. That is the reason why family conflict or relationship conflict with the verbal activities does it. So this is the case study, the case practice. When you deal with the person who are angry and talking with you, you should not be the listeners with the the light in your mind up. You should own your light in your mind, in your present moment. You should root it in the present moment. You should be aware, and you should practice compassionate listening. That is the Avalokitesvara Bodhisattva practice, q u a n Yin Phu Sha, or in Vietnamese we say q u a n Tham Bo t h a Listen to other suffering without any judgment. That is the act of compassion. No need to do anything. Just be there completely stably, and you listen to other suffering. That is the most beautiful gift you can offer to the person who cannot control their suffering, and they want to out to get some sympathy and understanding from others. And you are maybe one of them can offer them a solution without react anything. You know that. That is the good meditator, a vipassana. But firstly, if you want to listen to the other difficulties, you have to listen to usually daily with your suffering and difficulty inside of us. If you sit for a while, you want to change, then you change, and you change continuously, many postures like this all the time. Then you are not tolerant with yourself. 
you are not big enough space for your difficulties then if you are not able to sit with you one hour how can you can sit with others whole life and you get married and you think that you can make others happy without you know without allowing your difficulties first ah. so the art of mindfulness and meditation in this way at the Buddha offer is wonderful and the I mean, it's, it's very important as a human being to practice it. When you hear the suffering talk, the anger talk, you recognize that is the ego talk, but not a person talk. The ego raises the voice, you should not react the ego. Because the egos come from the wrong view. So the wrong view produces the anger. So you should not correct or give any further judgment right or wrong on that anger talking, on that anger voice anymore. Why? Because it will produce more wrong perception. Because the ego never allows you to defeat, never allow and accept your right. Others ego always right and your ego should not rise up at the moment, others' ego is very high degree. You will be the failure uh, and the victim of that ego. Uh, so, by the compassionate or mindfulness, listening to the ego suffering, you will see marvelous things happen, the thing that I practice every day. So when we listen to the person who blame us, okay, you be calm, you be slow. It's something difficult within you happen. You want to react for sure. You not accept it easily. Something in your head wants to correct. Oh, you, you think it's wrong. I'm not doing that. Why are you thinking me in that way? Hey, your mind rumble something in your forehead, but stop for a while. And you think that, ah, I practicing compassion, listening, so, I patient with my difficulties. Now I listen to his, his suffering first. Uh, then you will see. The suffering talk, talk, talk. And with, without any of your judgment, you just sit there in praise and open a big space for you. For your difficulty first. And the space open larger, wider, and you in praise their suffering and difficulties you like this and the angle the ego like this and your space is bigger the ego is in place the ego with the smile and the acceptance with that condition and judgment and you will see the person who suffering blaming you will lessen their suffering try then the, their suffering will lessen and lessen and when the suffering lessen, the voice of ego talking in the suffering manner will lessen. And the sense of thankfulness manner will spread from their eyes. Because you do not sit there for condemn them right or wrong, but you sit there for them. So your presence as a gift, they will appreciate it. When their emotional anger is down, they will recognize your give you know that and they will not blame and condemn you anymore slowly slowly they sit with you without talking anything and you you will see they will cry they condemn you not because of they wrong or you wrong they right or you right but because of just they suffer they can't stay with their own suffering that's it so the best antidote remedies of anger is compassion when you know that person suffer too much then you you want to make it suffer anymore make it serious anymore you just sit there and be patient with yourself you listen for a while you will see the miracle happen and then when you deeply you give the insight to the story who talking to you then you will understand something more that is their difficulties 
when you put your insight into their story then the reality of their own suffering will pop up and now you understand why they suffer at the moment understanding grows up at that moment compassion will arise without understanding compassion is impossible but to understand them firstly you need to be patient within you to listen to them without any judgment that is the process deep listening that is called mindful listening practice we bring about understanding understanding what understanding the suffering and difficulties of others what is talking they're talking about their own suffering so with listening you understand the suffering with deep understanding you will generate compassion automatically because when you see the people who suffer or when you see the dog or you say you see any kind of living being who suffer in the front of you right away you will I feel very compassionate for that being you know that firstly number one be patient with our difficulty and practice in listening deep listening will bring about the understanding and understanding will bring about compassion and with compassion the anger stop no more with you and they will pay their gratitude to you that is the miracle of meditation practice not the psychic power a psychic power cannot do that only the good practitioner of meditation can do that and who our beloved one you know our mother our boyfriend our girlfriend our wife our husband our children what we offer them great but more great thing we can offer is our compassion understanding as a human being we need love care and relationship in truly manner but very difficult for human being to do that why because the ego the difficulty within each people too much then who will be the person in that family members in charge of deep listening open the space for other difficulties if we are the one in that person way if we are that person then we are the best gift for that family members you know that? Ah. the second thing is about the emotional reaction with mindfulness when your emotion unsatisfied with something if you are not home in the present moment it means you are not mindful then you will get angry for example oh here too hot and then the hotness without awareness recognizing that hotness reacting will be the anger you know that huh? so before i move my body if i am not aware of that my body is not satisfied I move without awareness that is called reacting to the unsatisfaction it's called anger I'm angry with myself yes. yes so firstly if I feel unsatisfied what should I do if you get angry within you what should you do people will say oh angry is not the good way so you should run away ah you are not in the room of your emotional in your emotion or feeling you are not on the light of mindfulness so the teeth of anger comes now you say i want to run away from my room it's not an intelligent way to deal with the anger and you say oh i have to suppress the anger because it's the this is the bad thief can you do so for example in this room it's a very hot can you suppress the hotness by the coldness you can't you just turn on the air condition and it will mix together and another way say oh i have to destroy or to control this anger 
because it's too bad. I don't want because I am good practitioner. I am meditator. How can I show my anger face to others? No, 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 no. How can I can't? Then you try to do something very violent to yourself. So the anger is one violent and reacting without mindfulness to the angry emotion. That is another violent action. Ah. Those two ways should not be the way of meditation practice. Then what is the way? Why the thief come into your room of emotion? Because of you are not there or you there you sleep. It means there's no mindfulness. So at the first moment of angry arises in your mind, the Buddha told you what the Buddha told you to deal with your anger. The first thing is I talk about the angry person who talking with you, but now you're angry inside how you deal with it in the Buddha way of teaching meditation. In Satipatthana Sutta, Majjhima Nikaya number 10 and Diga Nikaya Maha Satipatthana number 22, the Buddha saying, it's very, very simple but very profound. Amazing. The Buddha say, Sadosam, Sadosam va chittam, Sadosam chittanti bachanati. When the anger arises in the mind, Chanati, be aware of that anger there. And Vita dosam va chittam. Vita dosam chittanti bachanati. When the anger is not there, so just notice and be aware that the anger is not there. What type of meditation is that? Before I don't understand. But why? But the Buddha is the enlightened one, the, the master of the devil and human. The such thing is so simple. It's not simple. All the action every day we do as the reaction. Reaction without awareness will produce karma. Then the commit imprint everyday activity from the four aspects of our body, our emotion, our mind and our mind object called Dharma. Then that is the process of creating karma. If I walk from there to here, five steps without awareness. Something under my step, I will do two kinds of karma. One is I will kill the ants, I will produce suffer to other beings. Another, I will step on a thorn, I will make me suffer. That is the reason why. All the time, 24 hours, apart from the sleeping state, we have to own the light within those four aspects of our human body and mind complex system. So the way here the Buddha showed us, firstly, don't react to the thief. Don't react to the thief. Just wake up and turn on the light. Automatically, the thief will be what? Not yet. It's very difficult. The anger, the angry mood is very difficult because it's very strong and quick come. It's a very much difficult for us to deal with. We own the light and the thief disappears right away. That is a very samadhi, deep concentration kind of person. And, and the thief will, yes. Yeah. But if the thief is still there with your observation, it means that your samadhi is not strong enough. Your concentration, your be available is not strong enough. You are the very weak people. Every day you have a wandering talk. You are not concentrated people. Such good people. You are not living in the present moment. You are all the time. If one talk in your head, you do like this, then all the time your head will like this. Hmm? So, firstly, we observe every day the angry mood very strong and quickly comes. It's not easy to be recognized and it's not easy for us to be aware and then it disappears. No, it's not easy. So here is the key to practice. 
within 10 minutes more I will show you and so please be attentive and you will learn something if you take the glass of water if very angry mood I look at it I blame it the water in its structure will turn into a very bad color distorted it means it receives my energy you know that and if I use my peaceful, compassionate voice and manner to send to the water. The color of the structure of the water will be turned into the very circle, beautiful and bright. This body is made from water. When you get angry, you are your enemy. You are your victim, the poison in your hormone generating will destroy your nerve system so firstly when the anger comes it means you recognize ah just a moment ago i am not at home and i am at home but i am not turned on the light of mindfulness ah don't blame others you get angry when you are not at your home no one outside in charge of your angry mood because something within here who in charge of you if you in charge of something within here you one is go right go good or go bad go wrong it's go right and good but it's not it means you are the one who completely 100 percent in charge of your mood then if the mood go wrong the way that you don't run then you should know that you are not at home first step don't blame other don't look for outside blaming or condemnation to others people or situation or things people can disturb around you people cannot disturb within you recognition that you are not aware that is the big step of meditation practice when you recognize that you are not home, that moment you are home. Uh, second step. Do not turn directly to your angry mood. Because your, your samadhi, your concentration is weak. It's not at home. So the anger control you. So now, do not go directly to the angry mood. But you need to go to the angry mood slowly with something. It means when you get angry, you are not home. Now, if you want to be home, you need to go with something. What that thing? What that thing? The breath. Ah. When you get angry, firstly recognize you are not home, that you home. Second thing, you need to take a deep breath. Or you take a walk or you take a pen right out any kind of physical body for you to rely your attention on to away from your angry attention and you pay attention to the present moment on the action that you are performing that is called Kaya Nubhasana ah, when your emotion controlled by the anger so you should use the body action to pay your attention on we call it Kaya Nubhasana the body contemplation so when you are in the body contemplation with your breath, take a deep breath the soft forward slowly out and gently follow your breath you do it three times then you take your pain and write out something you're going to do let's see 24 hours then you want to do it you do or you next step you take some walk and you are in that each step okay let's see that this is the the practicing and your anger will be the con anger will be the object for you to practice it's not for you to destroy it anymore just try and when you with 
when you root there deeply in your breath or in your step in the present moment at that time you move you turn your attention to your angry mood at that moment you concentrated somebody strong enough to deal with the very strong five burning emotion ah. and with that somebody you observe now he is the fire of uh, energies of angry so now the somebody with your breath breathing deeply you observe it you give a deep looking into the angry moment now your deep looking is the observation we call vipassana it's like a sun and your angry mood is like a flower when the sun rises up in the morning and the sunlight energy warm up the flower and it will blossom slowly like that that is the art and the angry mood is like a baby who crying lacking of the warmth of the mother and the mother comes not to beat the, the crying baby but to carry it in her heart and the connecting the keep in touch with but not the fighting and put away keeping in touch with your angry energy by mindfulness practice that is the way of the mom embrace the anger baby in her heart anyways how do you think no only that way then you will say when you look deeply into the anger the anger will be the mud you are usually afraid and threw away now it will turn into the lotus flower without mud there's no lotus so do not throw away your energies of angry mood just be with it gently with the breath keep in touch with it and looking deeply into it and you understand your difficulty and then with that difficulty the compassion will automatically come up when you compassionate with yourself the angry mood will completely vanish that is the transformation that is the end of anger that's it so today i share with you two things how to deal with the angry talking outside with you by using deep listening and compassion listening out how to deal with yourself quite return to your breath establish the deep somebody and pay attention to your anger as the mommy and embrace the anger baby at the sun the sunlight will sunshine into the flower and and slowly the anger will transform you no need to transform anything you just be there and things will come and go and you are the witness and miracle takes place that is the end of my sharing today thank you very much for your paying listening attention to me sato maybe one question uh, you mentioned that meditation uh, will eventually help to uh, eradicate the anger just uh, i noticed that uh, so a while ago i did a meditation retreat which was very intense and after that i did mm-hmm. feel uh, incredible improvement mm-hmm. but uh, when you go back to real life yeah, that's true. this is drifting quite fast away and uh, even practicing meditation on a daily basis uh, it just never gets back to that level yeah. so uh, what is your point of view uh, when you practice meditation in the world where you have to uh, make daily things how much time can should somebody allocate to meditation because i don't know where the balance uh, is supposed to be do you want to live a life without anger or do you want to live a busy life that is one question Another question is do you want to gain a lotus flower of compassion and wisdom or not yes then yes you should not throw away the mud without the mud you have no much to plant the seed of compassion and wisdom so do not 
get away from your suffering or anger. The Buddha only asks us to be aware when the anger is there or not. Do nothing but be aware. Be aware, deep looking inside, then transformation will take place. Go away from the anger, it's only one way to go, that is go to that place, that is the safe place and you end your life without any chance to practice anymore. If you have no question, we would like to end the Dharma talk uh, for this uh, tonight. And thank you very much for your attention. And also please uh, thank you to the Venerables. Thank you. Yes, Sadhu. Sadhu.